blow up, so... You know, lad, I've got a daughter and I'm oh, much older than you. Your daughter's name is Jessica, isn't it? Right, the girl's got a heart of gold and a soul to match. So, you're saying she's adopted? Huh? What's that? Nothing, nothing at all. <laughs> she's at the Athena Shrine, learning to be a priestess, and she'll be a great one. You should meet her sometime. I think she'd like you as much as I do. But you're gonna have to grow up before I let you marry her, lad. <laughs> I don't know, Alex. I think she'd be just as scary as her father. <clears throat> yeah, I don't really care to repeat the fight in order to get 100 XP. Nope. I only know that because I remember parts of the game. You can only get in there after. <clears throat> something happens in the story um he was supposed to only do 15 damage oh that's because of the vi I didn't get the shield and with vigor <clears throat> oh yeah, we have to go find Nash. Mm. I like to describe Black Rose Street as a compact version of Vane's Magic Guild without the elitist attitude. Not to mention the altitude. <laughs> Sorry, can't help myself. The city of Vane must be like on a mountain or something, right? <clears throat> The people of Black Rose Street have the audacity to call it a slice of Vane on Earth. But this place is nothing like Vane, it's just a small street in a sprawling metropolis. The real Vane is the home of our world's magic knowledge, not to mention both Galleon and Lemia. Lemia. Lemon. May Althena have mercy. That's the strangest pet I have ever seen. What kind of creature is it? I'm not a pet, old man. I don't like the way you just say creature. May Athena strike me dead! The critter understands the language of humans! Okay. Having Gnaw around is big trouble, isn't it? <clears throat> Welcome to the finest tool shop on Black Lost Street. From daily necessities to invaluable items, you'll find an astonishing array of articles available here. Yeah, those cost a thousand. They're not cheap. <clears throat> Remember that we have an exclusive on the Starlight. You can't buy it anywhere else outside of Vane. Really? No wonder it's so expensive. <clears throat> There's a new fortune telling shop on Black Rose Street. It's been run by a magician from Vane. I heard that she's very good at peering into the future and that she's <laughs> very hot. Alex, why don't we ask her about dragons? Maybe she'll know something. Yeah, that, yeah, that's that's a good idea and all. Dragons. Right. Dragons. My insignificant store is blessed a thousand times over by your wondrous presence. I have a selection of many fantastic and wonderful magical items for sale. My first item is the magic toothbrush. This game's all about brushing teeth. It scrubs your teeth while you sleep and leaves them bright, not just white. <laughs> I even have a catchy rhyming slogan for the sale pitch. I can tell you what one, you need one. Can I get it, Alex? It sounds like it'd be kind of fun. <laughs> no, are you too lazy to clean your own teeth now? No brush for you. I knew she'd say no. It'll be your fault when I contract gingivitis, Luna. Wow. Of course, of course. You children have such wonderful dental hygiene. There is no need for my toothbrush. <laughs> 
Aren't you supposed to be a salesman? How are you just gonna like give up like that? Oh my, are you lost, cat? You'll find a nice home at the bottom of my stomach. <laughs> hey, I've heard that voice somewhere before. I remember now. It's the old hag from Calder Isle who gave us the water cane. Oh, do you know my sister? Is she still living out in the middle of nowhere all by herself? I wish she'd come back to Black Rose Street to live with me again. But she said she loved the peace and quiet of the woods. Bah. She's just too stubborn to admit she misses me. Black Rose Street is a place where the people of the ground can interact with the magicians of the sky. It's the doorway through which the common man can glimpse the power of vain. If you ever have a question related to magic, come here and you will find the answer. I don't like magicians. They seem pretty stuck up. You need a form for the guild. You mean the magic guild? Yes, talk to the head priest at the shrine. Uh, which shrine is that? The one for she who made our world. Althena? You mean Althena's shrine? Hmm. Why does the leader of Althena's shrine have forms for the magic guild? Boo hoo hoo. This is absolutely horrible. This is the tragedy of all tragedies. I can't find my magic wig. <laughs> Drama queen. I refuse to set foot outside this house until I once again have a natural looking head of fake hair. Most of the people who live on Black Rose Street learn to use magic in vain. Almost everyone you will meet here has a degree from the Magic Guild, myself included. We were chosen to come here because of our particular skills are suited to the world of the ground dwellers. <laughs> Those hoity-toity magicians. I specialize in using magic to predict upcoming weather conditions. Farmers and fishermen are especially interested in my forecast for obvious reasons. It's far beyond my abilities to actually change the weather, of course. Such power is probably only within the grasp of magicians like Lamia and Galleon. My most popular item these days is the fire cane. Use it as a tool or use as fireball magic. Yeah, I wish I could get it, honestly. If I have somebody to use the stuff. He probably is changing the weather for money. If you don't like anything you purchased here, don't be shy about mentioning it early and often on your travels. Oh, if you, if you do like anything. For some reason, I thought I said if you don't like. Mm. Welcome, young adventurers. We sell armor for magicians. That's all. Nothing else. Cool. Ooh, that's... So, six for 400. Or three for more than half. Or two... Last enough. Hmm. I think we'll go with this. And then we can buy this. Lightweight armor is a must for any safety conscious magician. It's hard to focus on chanting spells when you're out of breath from the heavy armor you're wearing. Of course it is. You want to go on an adventure like Dragon Master Dine and you don't have any magic skills? I have two! Two! Don't make me laugh. Dine was using incredible magic when he was half your age. Alex can't use magic, but he can use a sword and play the ocarina. He's practiced practice hard to master them. I know he can master magic too. You have the dragon ring. Clock would only give that to the person who passed his trial. And that seems to be you! Ha ha ha! The ring is proof that you have the qualities of a dragon master. I heard that dime wore it as well. Personally, I thought the dragon dime was a lot more impressive. You, boy, I can tell you're quite a skilled magician. 
You might not have deduced it from my appearance, but I've been using magic since I was a child. Alas, the only spell I can cast is the one to stop sneezing. But I also have a powerful sense for the magic ability of others. But Alex can't use magic. Really, boy? You can't cast spells. That's because you have to learn to awaken the magic within you. When you get the chance, you should try with Avain to study at the Magic Guild. The teachers there will surely be able to draw forth your talent. I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if they're trying to scam me. And that's what happened. I still haven't determined if singing is the key. But I have a strong suspicion that it is. Oh, I remember her now. Nash, your friends have come. Alex, Luna, d did you think to knock before entering? <clears throat> this whore. She's totally a good guy. We seem to have guests. But I welcome those pursuing knowledge, as always. For you see, I am a student of knowledge, past, present, and future. Right. I can foretell many things in the future. So, let's see your future. That's why you came to me today, isn't it? I can see the future too. My sword's gonna be plunged hilt deep, deep inside of you. We really didn't come to learn anything in particular. We were trying to find Nash. <clears throat> oh, really? From what I glimpse of your future, child, you need my services quite desperately. So many of the questions you have about yourself are the ones that I could answer. How, how did you know? Why do I get this warm, burning feeling inside of me when I get hit? Oh, uh, I mean, you didn't hear that, Alex. And you, Alex, you seek to become the greatest hero our world has ever known. But you are too humble to be a dragon master. You are unwilling to choose power and glory over friends and family. This will be your undoing. So what's my fortune, lady? Licking your paws and coughing up hairballs, cat. It is an insult to think I would waste my energy looking into the future of a rodent. I'm not a cat. What a bitch. Why are you hanging out with this horror, Nash? Alex, Luna, have you finished your tour of the city? <laughs> Having lived in the desolation of Calder Isle, you two must be completely overwhelmed. I'm sure you'll adjust in time, and if you don't, I'll be that much more amused. I don't even remember what Gnoll is. Gnoll's been the same thing this whole time. A flying cat. Oh, flying not cat. It's never said what Gnoll is. Nash, what were you asking the fortune teller about? Hoping she might know a spell to cure bad hair days? It hasn't said at all. Yes, exactly. Later in the game. Yes, which means you shouldn't be talking about it at all. <laughs> you rude little rodent. In fact, I asked her, well, it's none of your business anyway, is it? No, I don't remember really. Which is why you shouldn't be talking about it. Ooh, I know what it is. You asked her to see if there's a woman in your future. <laughs> Nash was the girlfriend. Good luck, Tiger. It's none of your business what I asked her about. I'm entitled to just as much privacy as you are. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Nash. He would say privacy, wouldn't he? Now then, I have several more pressing matters to discuss with Royce. So, by the way, where's your full-figured friend, Ramus? Wow, that's a surprisingly nice way to put it, Ramus, or Nash. Whoops. I almost called him Remus. Wasn't he going off to sell the Dragon Diamond? This is the game's way of telling you that you need to go off and find him now. He's right, Alex. We should see if he's negotiated a good price yet. 
Hey, bitch. Welcome, children. I am Royce. Is there a loved one you seek? A business matter for which you need advice? A question about an affair of the heart? Whatever your problem, I have the solution. Alex, I don't know why, but I feel weird and nervous. Even if I remembered what Noah was, I wouldn't say at all. Or even try to talk about it. Because <laughs> you don't know who could be watching this, either here or on YouTube. 